Good morning, World Wide Web. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Bookface, Twitter, Snapchat, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, however you're watching. Hope you're doing well. I'm helping a family member move today, and Troy is helping. You know Troy, just at his house the other day. There he is. And so, uh, actually, I'm going to go down here, turn around. Basically, uh, Troy and I are moving buddies. If you remember that vlog up there, go check that out. Moved from Greeley to this house that I'm about to uh, pull up to. But uh, today we are going to downtown Denver. So here we go. Um, I will try and make something for you. I don't know. I'm not going to be having too much time to film as I will need to focus on uh, uh, putting the guns to work. <laughs> Uncle Troy driving legal. Ah! Whoa, there we go. <laughs> we just hit the boil butt. Scraping. Got her done. She's loaded up. <laughs> now we just gotta negotiate the one way. Something's something. I think it's a fiberglass with the, you know, the trailer. Oh. How you... Uncle Troy, you sure you still need a welcome mat? No entiendo. I'm, I'm counting one, two, <laughs> three welcome mats. <laughs> hey, you're, you're a loving guy. We're not going to clean any more floors. We want you to wipe your feet before you come in. One, now you got four. Where are you going to put it? Yeah, we're just an all-inclusive kind of... <laughs> The secret stash. Beer me. Okay, we got uh, all kinds of. You feel like IPA? You want watermelon? You want. To be quite corona? frank, I think I want a Corona. Me too, man. With a lime. Yes, sir. That's what's coming right up. We earned it. Yes, sir. Let's do it. We need to start our own uh, moving company. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Cheers! And here's to to uh, Troy TNS Moving <laughs> Incorporated. Incorporated. <laughs> See if I can get this. Yeah. Come on! Cover your eyes. Come on! Yeah. Oh! Moving is done. Moving is done. Oh man! You gotta love each other by helping each other move, right? That's part of life. You gotta help each other move. You know, sometimes you gotta help a lot of people move. Uh, you know, whether it's friends or family members, but uh, you gotta do it. You just gotta do it. All right, now I'm watering the grass for date night. And yes, I know, I know, I forgot to do the comment of the week yesterday for Memo on Memorial Day. I was too. Uh, too energized and entertained at the picnic, so uh, we're gonna get you the comment of the week here in about uh, 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Like fabulous. Oh my okay, there sorry. She is. It's like 50 50 for feet tucked in or feet not never, tucked in. How is that even, an, uh, how is it even a I contest? I didn't know feet tucked in was a thing. I didn't, I know. I didn't know people did that. And what does that mean that the sheets are tucked in under the corners and your feet you cannot literally escape? cannot escape you literally cannot escape that's but I need you to read Damien's comment okay. while I drive okay and it looked epic Damien I have not read the whole thing but this is funny the daily Damien yeah I remember reading in some Charles Dickens novel that having your toes peek out of your warm blankets into the colder air makes your entire body feel all the more comfortable Check. I've heard that. I've Check. heard that. But, but more recently in reading Moby Dick, well, oh, we are very wait a well minute. read. Wait a minute. Charles Dick into what, Moby Dick. What about the Count of Monte Cristo? What does he say? <laughs> Eric Duma. Okay. But more recently in reading Moby Dick, Melville writes the exact same thing. So did Melville <gasps> borrow that from Dickens? Or did great minds just think alike? They just think alike. Great minds think alike. I can't locate that passage in Dickens. Must have been Oliver Twist, A Christmas Carol, or A Tale of Two Cities. I'm a big fan of rereading books, so someday I'll get to the bottom of this. We appreciate that. And when you do... You comment. We, you let us know. You let us know. Damien, that is an amazing comment. I've heard that, Damien. And I've heard... I don't know. Who did I hear that from? 
Must what? have read it. Must have read it in a book. Some one of these or another one. Back from date night. Old Chicago's was amazing as always. But now, time to get the trash. Back to reality. Time for trash, a little recycling. Trash day tomorrow. And yes, the comment of the week is coming. Ladies and gentlemen, it's late. I am tired. We just got to dive right into it. Dive right into the comment of the week. Remember yesterday, I forgot to do the comment of the week. First time in a, actually ever since we started the comment of the week. My bad. It was Memorial Day. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go. The comment of the week goes to Andrew. Andrew, this might be your second time getting the comment of the week. Why did I choose this comment? He's raw. He's real. Tough topic. Andrew uh, lives in Indiana and his son um, suffers from a spinal muscular atrophy. So anyway, it's just, it's tough. It's a tough situation, but like listen to this comment. It's just so raw and real and positive despite the challenges that he faces uh, within his family. But I, anyway, I'll just read it. All right, Andrew said, thanks so much for yet another shout out, Seth. We have our ups and downs, but they said he wouldn't, his son Landon, wouldn't live to see uh, his second birthday. So we consider ourselves very blessed. It's the most severe type of spinal muscular atrophy, and there's currently no cure. He's a happy guy, given his circum circumstances. So that makes me happy. Mm, just cut you deep. Just cut you deep. So thank you, Andrew, for just opening up about your son and your family and the challenges that you face. Uh, that's life. That's raw. That's real. Oh, thank you, man. Whew. What would you guys like to ask me? And I will do my best to answer it tomorrow. All right. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. And try not to get caught in rompers. See you tomorrow.